Hey, what is going on guys? Junior with Jet Pedals here, and today we wanted to shoot this quick video giving you an update on our brand new firmware release for the Unity 6. This is version 2.3.0, and so this firmware update includes several user experience enhancements, most of which have come from you guys, our users, that have been requested over on our Discord channel. So first and foremost, we have made some updates to the screen to make it easier to use. So now all the information about the loops are larger. We have also included another LED on the home screen, which shows you the state of the boost. So you will always know if your signal is boosted or if it's not. The Unity 6 will now dynamically hide and show the additional loops four through six. If you're not using those, then they will not show up on the home screen or programming the loop order. And whenever you add a loop in global settings, you will see that dynamically add right there on both the home screen and the programming the loop order screen. We have also added the automatic sizing of your text on the scribble strips. And if you have a toggle message assigned to any one of the presets on a bank. Whenever you load that bank, the state of that switch is going to default into the off position. And back in firmware version 2.0, we included the ability to have your loops stay engaged when you jump through banks or back and forth through different banks. And so just like the preset switches defaulting to the off state, now in this case, if you have a toggle message assigned to turn one of your loops on or off, it recognizes the state of your loop and will always load either in the on or off state depending on whether your loop is on or off. And last but not least, we added our own feature that is very useful when it comes to programming the Unity 6. Um, if you're anything like me, you start programming a preset and you've got six or seven or eight messages programmed on that preset and you go to program the next message and you can't remember where you left off. That I leave off on message six, seven, nine, now all you have to do is long press that uh, message number drop down list and then you will see a pop-up window showing you all the messages that have programming assigned to it. Simply click the number that you want to program and you will jump right to that message and continue your programming. So head on over to our website now to download the latest firmware version 2.3.0 and we hope you guys enjoy all of the user enhancements that we have included in this firmware update. As always, Head on over to our Discord server, leave us your feedback, add new suggestions, and we will always listen to your feedback and see what we can do together to make the Unity 6 better. Until next time, we'll see you guys.